Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm here with another dress in my fall outfit series. This one is going to be a long dress, although the custom code actually works really well on the um, short dress, the balloon hem dress as well. All you would have to do is change the sleeve just a little bit to not do the bottom half of it. Otherwise, um, it would work perfectly as well on the short dress. So what I'm doing at first is just outlining where I want the apron to be. I'm not adding in any of the details yet. And all I want is to mark off where the whites are going to go. I'm looking at the mannequin to see how I'm going to go about doing the little cap on the sleeves. I wanted the apron to have a little ruffle on the shoulder and I wanted to make sure that it looked good on the dress. And then I'm just going to add in some shading. I'm going to, of course, add in some shading in the apron where I believe there's going to be stitching. So in my head, there's going to be some stitching here for that and for the belt. And then I'm going to put in some stitching where I believe there would be some creases, maybe even sewn in or bunched together. You know what I mean? And that I'm going to do in the darkest color. As I told you guys, I always adjust the colors as I go along. There's not, they're not entirely static right at the beginning. I do make a basic color palette, but then after that, I make a few adjustments as I go along and, you know, just change it out just a little bit as I'm going. But right now I'm going to add in some highlights and some shading in order to make this take on the shape that I want it to. I want it to kind of go all the way up top, like the stitching to go all the way up from the bottom to the top of the apron. I just like the way it looks. I didn't want the apron to be plain. I also didn't want to add pockets onto it. I could have, you know, added a pocket and made it so that it didn't, um, you know, go... I didn't carry the stitching and that would have taken care of like the plainness of it but instead I wanted to work with the stitching because I have an idea to put some bows right at the front of the apron and also some at the back and it just worked a little bit better if I did it the way that I did do it you can omit any of this or make any adjustments that you want to make this your own I'm also making the dress a stripe. You can either do a stripe or like a checkered pattern, or you can leave it plain if you would like. But personally, I just like the stripe. Now, when you're doing a stripe like this, the shading, you have to be really careful and intentional with um, because the shading for the lighter stripe is going to be actually the color of the darker stripes. So you want to make it definitely look like those uh, stripes are carrying over, but also like they're, um, you know, like it looks natural. And then here we have the little bows and everything. Just so you guys know, all of the templates for this will be linked down in the description below. It will have the color palette and also the shape, the pixel templates so that you can copy it exactly if you would like. Uh, rather than make it on your own and in the back i'm doing a crisscross pattern i don't know i just envisioned that that's what it was going to look like i could have done it straight down but whenever i wear aprons um and the the um strap comes straight down it seems to kind of fall off my shoulder a little bit so i don't know for practical reasons i made it go crisscross which makes no sense because this is an outfit in animal crossing and i totally could have done it the other way but i just thought it added a little bit to the custom code now we're going to add some shading to make it look very bunched up and a little bit messy and that's kind of how i wanted it to look just not too perfect you know we don't want things to be completely perfect and then on the side, I played around with how I wanted that seam to be. And I think I wanted it to kind of be a little shorter of a dip on the sides. And I think that came out kind of cute. And then we're, of course, copying with doing the creases and all of the shading as far as making it look rippled and not perfect and looking like the dress has a little bit of texture on it um, and we're just copying that on the back the same way we did on the front maybe not exactly i mean i could have copied and pasted and done all of that after i shaded it but i chose to kind of do them separately 
you could probably just do the bottom part of the skirt uh, in the front and then copy and paste it to the back and then do those crisscrosses at that point if you wanted to. In the back, we're gonna make a big bow. I want this bow to be big and beautiful and I love the way this bow looks. And at first I did it long, but then I kind of changed my mind. You're more than welcome to keep it like this, but I sort of changed my mind and I wanted it to be a little bit shorter. So I did change it at the end. We're gonna copy that striped pattern from the front to the back, of course, because the dress is gonna be the same on both sides. It's not going to just have stripes on one side and not the other. And then I made sure to add a little bit of shading around the crisscross and all of the straps as well. Um, because I think in real life it would show some dark spots and and be a little bit shaded out as well And we wanted to kind of mimic that and make it look a little bit realistic, right? We want our clothes in Animal Crossing to look like realistic in this cutesy video game that we play um, so I just didn't want it to be too cartoony and that was what I settled on for the bow that shape is the way that I personally liked it you're welcome to play with that and do it any way you would like and then we went for the sleeve and on the top I carried on the pattern of the dress but then when I went for the lower part of the sleeve I wanted it to be shorter and then I put a seam and a little crisscross pattern right there and just copied it and pasted it over to the other side and we're done. Hopefully you guys liked it. I really love how this dress came out. I feel like it looks super cute with a little frumpy hat. Hopefully you guys like it and I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I know you can be anywhere in the entire world and you chose to hang out with me for just a little bit of your time. And I always appreciate that so much. I know I say it all the time. I absolutely 100% mean it. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.